Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn about image properties detection, which is available under VN Actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. By using image properties detection action, we can detect image color properties. The image property feature detects general attributes of an image, such as dominant color in RGB format. The Vision API can perform feature detection on a local image or GCS image file by sending the contents of the image file as base64 encoded string in the body of your request and receive the response as image annotations with dominant colors. All right, I will show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an image of the Bugatti car. If you see the properties of this image, I'm having color blue. I'm not much aware of the colors, but still this is the color of blue kind, right? In that case, I want to know what kind of dominant colors are available in the particular image. In that case, we are going to use image properties detection action. All right. Now we'll see the parameters of the particular action. First one is the API key. This key, we are going to get it from Cloud Vision API key. After that, we need to provide the image. There are two ways. That is first one from file, another one from GCS. From file is nothing but local image. From GCS is nothing but Google Cloud Storage image. All right. Now, if you see, once we are going to select from file, I need to provide image file path. Now, if you see the advanced, this is the timeout, the connectivity between Power Automate Desktop and the Cloud Vision API. Now, once we have given all the required parameters, the output will come in the JSON format, which is JavaScript object notation, which is a standard text-based format. And then we're having status code. The status code will get it 200 for the success and 400 for the bad request and response. Now, one by one, I will fill all the parameters over here. First one is the API key. From where we will get this API key? From the Google Cloud Vision API. If you see, we are right now in the Google Cloud platform. Under that, we are having APIs and services. Under that, we have created the credentials for the Vision API. You can see over here, I'm having the key. Let's copy that. And there, I'm going to provide the API key over here. Now, I'm going to select the second parameter as provide the image from file. Whenever I'm going to select from file, I need to select the image from the local path, right? Now, let me select the file. Now, I have redirected to Power Automate Desktop, image properties detection is the folder where I'm having the car over here. I have selected that. And then the output variables, you can see I am having JSON response and the status code. I'm not changing any variables over here. Let me click on save. Now, if you see under flow variables, I got JSON response, another one status code. Now, by using this image property detection, we can detect general attributes like dominant colors, which are residing in the particular image. Let's see that what kind of image annotations we'll get it once we'll run the flow. Flow execution started, and you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you see the flow variables, I'm having the status code as 200, nothing but successfully request and response, and the output we're having JSON response. Now, under the responses, if you click on more, there you can see image properties annotations. Inside that, I'm having dominant colors. Along with that, we are having crop hints annotations. Now, by using this, we need to know the dominant colors, right? Now, let's click on more. There you can see image properties annotations once again. Click on more. There you can see the dominant colors properties. Now, if you click on more, there you will find all the colors. You can see over here what are the colors are available inside the particular image that will get all the colors over here. The output will get it in a, such a format like RGB, red, green, blue format, where you can base on that output, you can go ahead and you can get it. Now, I will take one color over here. You can see 76, 
118.175. Now I am going to RGB color chart 76, 118, 175. That you can see the color over here. I'm not much aware of this color, but it's a blue color over here, right? If you keep the image side by side, we are having the color over here, right? The light to blue kind of color over here. That's the reason we got the color RGB values over here in such a way, red, green, blue. Now, once again, if you see, there are a lot of dominant colors out there. You can see the color, another one is the pixel fraction also. If you click on more, you can get the color score pixel fraction. All right, let's click on close. Where we will use this image property detection in real time scenario. If you observe, we are going to capture the images from the cameras, like for the particular incident. In that case, we will identify the cars, right? I want to know the properties of the car, like which color it is. And after that, I want to match each and everything to identify the colors which are matching across our database. In a such cases, we are going to use image properties detection action. I hope you understand how to work with image properties detection action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.